welcome everyone <clears throat> this is the uh, second session uh, of which is a continuation of my previous uh, video which I made on cat command this is the second one so <clears throat> in the previous video of cat we started off uh, with talking about different switches and today we will also discuss a little bit more on on the uh, on some of the more application of the cat command here so <clears throat> and also thanks for the feedback in the previous video that my uh, the font size was little smaller which i hope this time that should be better okay so we just to recap we can write a cat command with any file and that would be the display or the standard output will be displayed on the terminal itself that's uh, basic of the cat now one can give more than one files together okay it's like cat f1 and f2 and this would concatenate the output means the first the output of the file f1 will be printed on the screen and then followed by the output of or the content of file 2 or f2 will be printed just like that so <clears throat> this is also you know right okay that's good now what you can also do is because it's a unix shell command okay that means you can use any wildcard as well for example here if i do cat star then as you know that the star in unix style pattern matching star means match any character it could be one or more characters okay match any character so in this case what will happen uh, the star will expand itself to match any any files which are present in this current working directory okay and it will run cat on each of those files okay so let's try it so you can see that um, you know it has uh, displayed everything everything for every file okay as you can see I have lots of file that's why you can see this effect but in short you can run it on each file by just giving the wildcard which is asterisk or star whatever is convenient you can call it um, you can even do more more precise or more selective for example you can say any get anything which starts with F and no matter what comes after f okay so let's see what happens in this case so in this case did all the file content like that which uh, all the files which start with f so this is also one of the application or let's say if you have some <clears throat> a dot txt files and maybe just create one more called b dot txt okay file just create two two files here with a touch command which is a zero byte file creation like we have done it now <clears throat> obviously we have not entered anything inside a dot b and b a dot text and b dot text right so let's just quickly uh, add some information so one of the info one of the quick information uh, to add one of the quick way to add some information in the file you can say like echo put let's say hi and then use the redirect sign which is redirection for the standard output to the a.txt file right you can also do that and at the same time you can even do let's say by for b.txt okay b.txt like that so we have we have something now inside our a.txt and b.txt okay now we can simply run cat 
star.txt so star.txt means all the files which has an extension .txt and you just have to display the content of these files I run it and you can now see that uh, first it looked for a.txt printed high looked for b.txt and printed by so this is another way of uh, doing something like that okay let me quickly talk about some more application okay so what we can do is <clears throat> let's create a file called sort okay sort.txt let's say and in that file we we say some uh, some uh, alphabets like c b and a okay right we can check it sort.txt we have cba okay what you can also do is you can do sort you can sort you can uh, cat on this file called sort.txt and then use a pipe operator and use uh, some unix command for example sort for example okay so the sort is applied on this uh, on the content cba and you can now see that like i mean it has now sorted uh, the output in chronicle order means uh, the sky value of a is smaller than b is bigger and the c is the highest so you can see that it has been now sorted you can also try for example uh, cat sort.txt but yeah note that if you run this command cat sort.txt pipe sort it will not change the actual content of sort.txt file okay because we have not yet saved it so it is it would still be cba okay just keep in mind now i will also show you you can also do for example you can run uh, similarly you can also run word count command on sort.txt so you can see this time the output is coming as 336 the first three is uh, the number of lines you can see there are three lines okay second is number of words so there are three words c b a and the last bit is uh, number of characters so why there are six characters c is the first character and then there's a new line character two b th three third character new line char character four and then a and then the new line character so there are six character in total that's how you can also apply uh, you know different unix command on get as well like this way okay so it's quite fair and usable okay now i will uh, jump on some more interesting topics of cat and i hope i will be able to cover those topics so first is that how can we write something directly inside a file using the cat command okay that's our first topic so what you can do is you can write cat and you give a a forward uh, it's a redirection sign and just call just make a new file called new file like this okay after this you press an enter button from in your keyboard press it it will go to the next new line here you will type some some lines so I can say let's say line 1 then I hit again a enter goes to the next line I say line 2 hit another enter okay after you hit the uh, enter after the second line now you can press control plus d ctrl plus d okay as soon as i click control plus d you can see that i have quitted from the from this method and uh, interestingly now if you check the output of or the content of new file you will see that uh, the the content which we wrote has been now written inside the file so this is one topic to check uh, to to discuss i hope this is clear now second topic is uh, or the point is we have to we are discussing now is is uh, is a usage of here marker okay here marker i will explain you what is a here marker and how can you use it so let's try the same command but this time what i will do 
I will I will not be relying on control D but I will be relying on a tag or a here marker how I will show you so you can write cat redirect redir redirection sign and the new file let's call it new file one this time and then you use two uh, left arrow okay two left arrows and then after that you give any keyword so for example I give EOF okay I give a EOF but it can be any keyword okay you can have you can give your name as well okay after this I enter and here I will say line 3 then again line 4 and enter and here I will again say the I will mention the end of line again EOF or it can be any any keyword as I said which you give at the beginning but they should match okay this and this both should match okay now if I, hit, I hit enter and that's it okay now we can what we can do is we can check what is the content of new file one and you can see also that new file one has been also updated with these entries so this one this one is very effective method because assume you want to run you want to uh, you're right you're making a program and in the or maybe you are doing a project and in that project you want to uh, define your commands or you want to create a help so instead of uh, writing a unique uh, help function you can e simply write this method and you can you can put any lines without even even doing the echo so that way you can um, you can simply print those lines I will show you later on how can you do it okay now maybe I'll show you right now okay how to do it so what I'll do I will create a new file called uh, eof dot sh okay and don't worry about this command called touch s which is my custom command it is nothing but it adds a extension uh, oh, sorry it interpreter uh, directly inside the file I will show you how so eof dot sh so you can see that there is an interpreter I have added which is a bash interpreter now here you will write I told you what to write you can write uh, cat and then just write EOF because we just want we don't want to create a file we just want to display something okay so here you can write some something like hello right welcome something like that and uh, you can simply add more lines if you want or if not you can just write the yeah, end of the EOF which is the here tag should match should be matching with the, the first tag right that's it you just save it okay now we'll execute this EOF.sh and you can see that without even having the echo command you can directly print uh, on the shell very useful or another example so what you can also do is let's say you are using a command called word count and uh, you can still use uh, this here marker like that okay and after that you will let's say if I write here um, a then CD and then I J K and enter and I let's say again I here write something like hello for example and enter and now I will terminate it with EOF right because that should be the matching uh, marker <coughs> enter look what happened it has the WC is a word count command it has worked it has run for uh, this all three lines together so you can see how many lines are there total there are two lines right first line is AC ACD IJK and then second line is hello 
and then there are four total four words which are which is which are a c d i j k and hello and there are 15 character you can count including the space and new line it will be 15 character so this is another example or another application of here marker how can you efficiently do the things correctly okay and i hope you have found uh, to these topics interesting enough to use in your daily work or in your project or in your scripting uh, assignments uh, yeah this is it um, so this concludes our cat session uh, i will come up with uh, more topics in future yeah keep learning bye everyone take care